Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship on this special Sunday of Lessons and Carols. Uh, the service of Lessons and Carols comes from the late 1800s, and we here at this church have worshiped through this music and song for 27 years. Thank you, Mark, for giving me that information. Uh, and uh, this is a story that we hear and sing today, a story of prophecy, of incarnation, and God's amazing power in this world. So we're glad to have this time for worship and song and word today. A few announcements about other worship opportunities this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Friday is Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Eve we will have two worship services, one at 3.30 and one at 7.30. Uh, there will also be special music 30 minutes before service, so you can come and prepare your hearts in this space for that special night. We will also be having the 7.30 service live streamed on Facebook, so you can still worship. Even if you're traveling, you can still log on and worship with us. So please join us for that special night. And a, a, a reminder, if you are worshiping at home, to have your candle ready for the candle lighting part of the service. Next Saturday being Christmas Day, we will not be having our Saturday evening service, but you can join us again on Sunday the 26th for a Christmas carol and healing service. So come next Sunday as well for that time of worship. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who participated in the Living Nativity last week. There's an announcement in the bulletin about all of the work and time and attention that went into that meaningful event. Thank you especially to Jeff and their whole steering committee for the work and heart they put into it. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful evening, and uh, we look forward to being able to do it again next year. There are a couple other announcements in your bulletin. Please read through them and continue to pray for our congregation and our community. Lastly, all of the hymns are in, your, are in your bulletin today, so this is all that you need for worship. Now let us stand as we are able for our call to worship. And grace shown to all generations. Re we rejoice that God's promise of an anointed one, the Messiah, is about to be fulfilled. Slow us down, patient God, so we may see deeply your truth in these bustling days. Help us face the ways we cover up our emptiness with fancy gifts. Hold us gently when we discover how we give presents when only our presence really matters. Grant us moments to praise you like the shepherds, ponder you like Mary, and listen to your dream messages like Joseph. Let us begin now in the name of Jesus. Amen. God of the darkened night, God of the morning light, come to us again. Come to us in the harmony of our songs. Come in the sound of silence and the laughter of friends. Come in our faithful waiting and hopeful watching. Come to us in the cry for peace and the smile of forgiveness. God of the darkened night, God of the morning light, come to us, be with us. Amen.
As our Advent pilgrimage draws to completion, grant us the courage to share your love. Love for the vulnerable one. We light this candle as a symbol of God's love for us and our love for one another. He exalts over us with singing and turns our shame to praise. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. With your abundant grace and might, free us from the sin that hinders our faith, that eagerly we may receive your promises. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we prepare to hear God's word, let us pray for illumination. As your Holy Spirit spoke to Mary, the mother of our Lord, Speak to us now through your word, that by hearing we too may receive faith and be strengthened to do your will. Amen. Please be seated. God announces in the Garden of Eden, that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. From Genesis chapter three, verses eight through 15. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldst eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. This is the word of the Lord. God promises to be faithful to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall the nations of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, 
And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6, and 7. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The prophet Micah foretells the glory of little Bethlehem. Micah chapter 5, verses 2 through 4. But thou, Bethlehem Ephratah, thou, though be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Therefore will he give them up until the time that she which tra travaileth hath brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall abide, for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed Virgin Mary, the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, How? Hail, thou art, art highly favored, and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. 
And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord, for it be unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul to magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowest of his handmaiden. St. Matthew tells of the birth of Jesus. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 through 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, to be, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying these, Thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And, shall, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call, him, call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
shepherds hear the angels tell the birth of a savior. The gospel according to St. Luke, chapter two, verses eight through 16. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from him into heaven, that the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. This is the word of the Lord. the star to Jesus. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, 
For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. This is the word of the Lord.
as you are able. St. John unfolds the great and wondrous mystery of the Incarnation. The Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness overcame it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness to the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many received them, him, to them he gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld that glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated.
Almighty God, you have given us your only Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we be born anew and made your children by adoption in grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit, through Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In this season of watching and waiting, let us pray for all people and places that yearn for God's presence. Nurturing God, you give us life and care for our every need. Use the church's gifts and ministries for your service, bringing your word to all who seek your transforming grace. Hear us, O oh God. Creator God, you proclaim your boundless love for all that you have made. Renew barren lands, polluted waters, and melting ice caps. Make us servants of your creation that brings forth abundant life. Hear us, O oh God. Righteous God, you bring down the mighty and lift up the lowly. Strengthen those who seek justice. Bless the work of community organizers, activists, journalists, and all who call our attention to imbalances of power. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Compassionate God, you proclaim your love and mercy. Show your loving kindness to teen parents and those who are pregnant. Comfort any struggling with infertility and those who await test results are in treatment and hospice care, and others in need, especially Sarah, Joyce, Carolyn, Diane, Michelle, David, Kevin, Laura, Lois, and Phil, as well as our homebound members all unable to worship this weekend, and all family, friends, and even enemies we name now, either out loud or in the silence of our hearts. Surround them with your unwavering presence. Hear us, O God. Gracious God, you fill the hungry with good things. Bless the feeding ministries of this congregation and community. Guide us to share your bounty with those who hunger or live in poverty. Hear us, O oh God. Faithful God, you stir up the hearts of those who love you. We give you thanks for those who, like Mary, were courageous in their witness. Give us such courage until that day when you fulfill all things. Hear us, O oh God. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. We pray together the prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. 